Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I want to tell you how to create a how to create a chart of account with the QuickBooks. A chart of account means this uh, list of accounts that we need in the QuickBooks. Why? Because before doing anything, as we said in the initial part of the AIS, that in order to create file in the system, there are two files: master files and transaction files. So first of all, master file should be available in the QuickBooks. So for the first few videos, we will go for the master files, like creating accounts with the QuickBooks, create, sorry, uh, creating different uh, types of accounts in the company, then registering the customers with the QuickBooks, a register of the employees as well as vendors, bank accounts, and so on. These are basically the master files. So first, we go for creation of several master files. One of the master file which is needed at the beginning or we have to create at the beginning is basically the chart of account. How you can create chart of account? How can you find it out? It is basically under the company part. You can press here basically. You can find the chart of account. If you think that for example this is not the exact place and you cannot find this one or sometime or what is the main point. So otherwise, so in order to find out the main place, go for what? For the, for the list menu. When you click on the list, you can find the chart of account here. And I think it is under the company as well, yes. When you come under the accountant file, again, there's a chart of account. Or otherwise, see there is a shortcut for this one, Control A, right? From anywhere in the QuickBook, when you just press Control A, you, find, you can find the chart of account. Let us say you open the chart of account. These are the accounts which are already created in the QuickBook. After that, you have selected, for example, a particular or, for example, answered a particular interview question. So based on your interview question and selection of the investor and so on, the QuickBook has provided you the following account. You can use the following accounts. See, these are the accounts. So, for example, fixed asset accounts, liability accounts, equity account, cost of goods sold account, expenses accounts, and income account. But if this is enough for you, it is fine. But if you think that, for example, the QuickBook does not has provide us, uh, did not provide the exact type of account that I need, on that case, you can go in the QuickBook and provide or create your own exact account that you need here, basically, right? And for that purpose, we have to create the new account. How to create the new account? Just right-click anywhere and go forward for new account. Or otherwise, if you don't go for this one, come to the down part. See, there's mention account. Once again, click on what? On new. Or otherwise, there's a shortcut, control N, right? For me, control N is good. So press control N. When you click on, press on control N, so you will find out the list of the account. These are the types of account that you can create with the QuickBook. Income account, expenses account, fixed asset account, bank account, loan account, credit account, equity account, account receivable, other current assets, other assets, and so on. These are the type of account that you can create with the QuickBook. So let me provide some basic information regarding each type of this one. First of all, for example, income account. What is the good things with the QuickBook? When you click on the account, it provides an example as well. So this is used for what and what are the examples. It basically explain it. So simply we can say in most of the things, QuickBook is a self-explanatory uh, software that you can provide or you can receive uh, the information from the QuickBook itself. So QuickBook just gave you the clue that this is for what purpose and what is the need of this, right? Income accounts is basically used for the normal income of the business. If you want to create an account, for example, for the normal income of the business, normal income of the business means direct revenue of the business. Direct revenue of the business means the income or the revenue which we receive from the main operation of the business. So for that one, click for which one? For company account, right? So we will explain, we will create one more ac one account later on, but for the time being, first of all, let me explain it. So for the main income of the company, click on this one. But sometime, if you don't have the main income, but income is just extra income, for example, or additional income or indirect income. For that purpose, go for which one? For other income, right? So if it is main income, this one. If it is other income, this one. In exam, also I may ask, for example, the difference between this income and the other income. Second part is regarding expenses. If some expenses incur in the business, 
for example for that purpose you have to maintain an account so this is the exact place and once again like revenue like income expenses also divided into two parts it can be main expenses it can be other expenses main expenses means any expenses which are directly linked with the main operation of the business or we can say direct expenses and these are the indirect expenses right like income expenses also divided into two parts so if you want to make account for direct expenses so please create under this one if you want to make account for indirect so please create under this one right this is the case next one is regarding fixed assets we know what is fixed asset if you want to create account for land buildings machines and so on any asset which is used for more than one year you can provide information here if you want to make account for your bank right even PT cash and so on, all of these comes under which account? Under, under bank account, right? So you know what is PT cash in the organization or PT account. For PT also, we should have what? Bank account, checking account, saving account, and so on. All sex asset deposit, every type of account that you have with the bank, you can create under this. Loan account, being for example, if you have taken loan from the bank, right? You can create it here. But remember that in most of the case, this loan is basically. Uh, usually for one year right or period of time is less but if you want to go for the long-term loan so you can go for this one long-term liability right so one year loan can be under this one or shorter period of loan and of course the longer period of time can be under this one right so you can press on this one so it show mortgage load long-term loans and note payables so loan is for the short term but this one is basically for the long term credit cards for example, if you have, for example, credit card account with a particular bank and so on. So you can open your credit card here, basically. Equity accounts, this is basically account of owner. It can be, for example, uh, a contribution account as well as it can be a drawing account, right? So both of them will belong to owner. But some other accounts are mentioned here, which are not there. Account receivable, right? So if you want to create account receivable, you can go for this one. Or, for example, other current assets. So one current asset, for example, cash or bank account. Second current asset, for example, account receivable. Rest of the other current asset, for example, prepaid expenses, employee cash in advance, inventory, and so on. If you want to create account for those current assets, you can go for this process. If it is a specific, go for the specific. Otherwise, if for that one, there is no specific option, you go for the other. And other assets, like goodwill, long-term, not receivable, and short and security deposit and so on so other current asset other assets see it is mentioned track the value of the things that are neither fixed asset nor ad other current asset those assets which they are neither fixed asset and ne neither they are other current assets so if this is so so please provide or please register them under which one other assets like goodwill and so on account payable you can record your account payable under this one we know what's account payable other current liabilities, other than account payable, rest of the liabilities are the sales tax liability, security deposit or retainer, payroll uh, tax, and so on. All these are the kinds of liability, but they are not account payable. <coughs> so we have to mention this one. Long-term liability, I just mentioned. Cost of goods sold or CGS, cost of the production, cost of materials, cost of labors, and so on. If you need, please provide this one. And in this way, you can create your account with the QuickBook, right? Let me create one simple account here. For example, let us create one account for, for income account, right? Click on this one. So once again, if already you made a mistake, so you can provide or you can change the type of the account here. The first thing is the account number, right? But before to create your account number, first of all, as you can see before I have to go over this one, see, as we said in the case of AIS, there is an account code. These are the account code basically in the QuickBook, right? So you can check that, for example, your income start from which code basically. See, our incomes start from which code? For example, 47,900, right? So you can take one code which shows similarity to this one, and your account should appear in this level. If you take a code of, for example, 60,000, so your income account may come or may appear among this, this code. So please, in order to create, for example, your account or income account and you need to be appear in this level, please take a code in this level, basically. Take 47,000, 48,000, for example, right? 
let me take 48,000. So take a type of account as an income account and take the code, for example, at 48,000. Okay. Then account name, what should be the account name, for example, let us say the account name is uh, interest, interest from bank, right? We receive interest from bank, for example, so let us select this one. The next one is the sub account. Whether this account is the sub account of some other accounts or not. If this account is the sub account of other accounts, so you can select it. Otherwise, it is not required, right? So if you want to make this one as a sub account of some other accounts, you can select those accounts as well. But otherwise, no need for this one. Just let us say this is the main account itself. Provide some descriptions regarding this if you need, for example, interest. That we receive from bank, for example, right? Get some notes as well, more information in this case. So rest of the thing is fine. Just save one and close it. When you save and close, your accounts appear basically here, interest from from bank. But the balance is zero yet. It's still there is no no balance, right? So in the same way, you can create several other accounts. For example, you can create an account, let us say, for expenses, right? So the same way you can do for the expenses. So, but before to go with this one, it is better to check the ID of this one. Eight forty. Uh, what is the the expenses? Let us say fifty two thousand, fifty three thousand, for example. Take a code number of fifty three thousand. So select expenses account. The number is suppose fifty three thousand, right? The code should be here, and provide information regarding name, for example. Just take a name. Let us say, for example, it is just donation, for example. Huh? We gave donation, donation expenses, donation expenses. Is it the sub account of something else? You can mention, otherwise just leave it. Donation for charitable organization. If you need, just provide description as well. Otherwise, just save and, save and close, right? So your accounts basically here appear here. What well, previous code was 52,900 and your account is this one. If you have several accounts under this one, then take donation as a main account. For example, let us say, let us explain the purpose of the main account here, right? Let us select one more expenses account and give the code as 53,000, for example, 100, right? And mention an account, for example, donation to charitable organization one for example and should be the sub account of what it should be the sub account of those charity donation expenses so rest of and provide the rest of information save and close when you do that one so donation to charitable organization one appear under which one donation expenses so in this case donation expenses become the main account and this account become a uh, become we can say a child account right or these are the parent account and these are the child or these are the main account and these are the subsidiary account so in this way let me open or let me create one more account for example for this time let us say let us open one account for bank for example right uh, for bank for example let us say what should be yes the exact number for bank whether it is a kinds of asset whether we have this one or not we don't have bank account, so let us select any number for this one. Uh, let us say bank account and ID number is suppose 30,000, right? 30,000 is our bank account. Let us say bank account. Then in the case of bank account, you can provide the exact, the exact uh, name of the account which you have, like saving account or fixed deposit account or checking account. Or otherwise, uh, you can provide, for example, name of the bank. But for me, it is better to provide name of the bank. For example, AI, AIB Bank, for example, right? AIB Bank. But the rest of the information can be provided in the saving in the description. For example, this is a saving account, right? This is a saving account. Then you can provide your bank account as well as routine account and so on. But uh, it is not required basically for the QuickBook to provide your bank account number, right? So no needed at all. But if you want, just so you can provide your bank account as well. Is there any balance for your bank account? You can mention a balance. Let us say my balance is one lakh. 
opening balance with this bank was one lakh. And on which day it was one lakh? Suppose it was in the first of this one, April, right? Then collect this one. So this show the balance of one lakh in your bank account. These are a few more points. Remind me to order check when I read check number this much. Right? It is basically when you use checkbook of the QuickBook. So if you use the checkbook of the QuickBook, so please QuickBook should remind you that. So there is, for example, 10 checks available. So please uh, order more checks. But as we are not using the checkbook from the QuickBook, so no need for this one. Order check, I can print from the QuickBook. If this option is not required, so this, one is all, this option is also not required. So take the print of those checks, right? So please, save and close. All the, the number is already available, so take it, 32,000, right? Can I do it now? 33 is already available. 32,200, for example, right? Is it available? No, it's not available. So when you create your bank account, the first thing they ask these things as well. Whether you want to go for online banking, no, for the time being, no need for online banking, right? So your account is created here, basically. If you want to make, once again, the sub account for this one, so go for this one and make one more account of bank for example checking account huh? which account checking account checking account but the checking account should be the sub account of which bank as the bank for example provide rest of the information provide balance also let us say there's a balance of 20,000 on this one and we have created this one on the second day of this one, right so go for save and, and close so no need for online banking so account appears here, here basically right see here is basically uh, several columns are here for the purpose of sorting here we can sort our account see sort by name right it is sort by name right so if you want to go in this sorting otherwise go in this sorting press until you find out a proper sorting for yourself right this is the case so i have select I have clicked on sorting so it shows basically my bank account in the second part why because this is the code 15,000 and my code is more than that right or otherwise you can sort the account based on types for example first bank should appear here basically right or fixed assets current assets should appear or first expenses should appear here right so whatever you want just click on that one or you can classify it based on the balance total balance right more balance less balance or otherwise you can sort this accounts based on the attachment right how attachment whether we have attachment with accounts or not so different way you can sort your account uh one more point or a few more points here regarding this accounts so here you can open the new accounts here you can edit the account the account which you have already opened or which you have already created you can edit it for example right otherwise you can right click as well you can do the same thing here as well right edit the account so let us say for example i have made a checking account i want to edit it why because i have made some mistake here so you can edit this one once again you can save it right so for example uh, these things are not mentioned here uh code is not suppose i made a mistake and the code is not mentioned here 32,210 for example it should be the code right i did not mention i missed that one so that's why i have to mention the code here so you can edit this one new accounts edit the accounts delete the accounts you can delete the accounts as well but remember that you cannot delete that account with that account is already used in the transaction even an account is used for one transaction you cannot delete it right see in this case these accounts are not used for the transaction if this account is not used in the transaction for example let us say we can say although it is apparent i don't know whether it can be deleted or not but let us say we want to delete this one delete the account are you sure you want to delete it yes so now the account is not available it is deleted right but remember when once the account is used in the transaction you cannot delete it so how what you can do on that case if the account is already used and you cannot delete it you can go for which one for inactivation or inactive the account let us say that for example i don't need this work compensation as the insurance so in that case you can go for inactive right so now the account is inactive and see this one in order to show those inactive account once again click on this one so it show that this account is inactive right so once again now no account is inactive once again this one is also active once again if you want to make it inactive see this line here see this point so the gray one it basically become 
bright one now it become bright so when it is bright it means it shows that there are some accounts which are inactive you can show them right so this one. or otherwise for example account is inactive from here you can show show inactive account it can show the account which are already inactive right here basically you can show the the format of this accounts account should be in a hierarchical view or account should be in the flat view uh, hierarchical view basically uh, in this case uh, first of all you will see uh, the main accounts and under the main account see on the right side uh, you can see the sub accounts the sub accounts are the types of account or the accounts which are belong to this one this is called hierarchical if you go for the flat view so you cannot find out those things anymore right once again if you go for the for the hierarchical so please check this point right hierarchical so now we can find out this information right we can see in this format so it is just the format you can manage it basically uh, customize column you can customize your column for example which thing should be available which thing should not be available right in the columns for example active columns names online wagaira, and so on these are the these are the columns that can appear for you if you want to add something from here for example balance should be available add balance or for example <coughs> attachment should not be available right so please remove attachment if this is so so there is no more attachment anymore right so in this way you can basically customize the account for your requirement hierarchical is better do not show this message again so customize for example let us say um, tax code should be available right add the tax code so you can find it what tax code if you think it is needed you can add it otherwise no need for this uh, and also from customization you can move up or move down as well right for example name should be first right you can select this one so first of all status second one type should be for example move up after name should be type right after online after Type there should be for example balance. Uh, balance no balance total should be up. It should be go up. After type should be balance, then balance total and so on. So if this is in this way, so this is the balance, right? Name of status of the accounts, name of the account, type of account, balance and so on. You can classify it in this way. Then import from Excel, data can be imported from Excel as well. For example, if you have already information in the Excel, so you can just import those data from there as well, right? Then find the transactions if you want to find some transactions or some accounts which are not available here. Right? Suppose I want to find the accounts. Uh, so here, if you want to find the account, right? So let me go back, close this part. If you want to find the accounts which are missed here, so you can find out two ways of finding the accounts. One part is the sample for sample search or finding, and the second one is advanced one, right? So we will discuss these things later on because several options are available here. So it is basically time consuming to explain it here. But if you have, for example, thousands of accounts, so you can find out the specific account as per your requirement. It is just the filter. And the rest one is print the list and resort the list. If you want, so you can resort the list as well, right? So there is a little bit changes here. So rest of these parts will be discussed later on, inshallah, while completing or while discussing the other uh, issues.